Barb, you've worked really hard to make your business a success. Can you, um, can you talk a little bit about your original vision that you had for the business? Well, I have been doing hair about 30 years at other salons, so I knew what I kind of wanted at the beginning, and then it actually just went crazy, wild. I, I remember us talking in the beginning, and you were used to working in salons, and sometimes they can get a bit impersonal. Yes. And I knew that you said, no, I want individual spaces for the stylist to have, to be able to have a little more intimate um, setting with their clients, yes. correct? one-on-one -on -one was the best. So when we had our own rooms, it was more personal. Mm -hmm. um, the clients loved it. What are some of the challenges that you've had to face with starting your own business? And how did you overcome those challenges? It was definitely, um, more challenging than I ever expected, but the hard work pays off. When you have a vision, don't give up. Yes, you will go through some hard times, mm -hmm. um, roadblocks, but when you have the community and friends and family to support you, it will be very successful. Prior to starting the business, we went through an extended period of planning. Um, have there been any changes that you've had to make from how you initially thought the business would operate to now? Um, starting out, you have this vision of exactly what you need to do, mm -hmm. but in reality, it's totally the opposite. Um, changes come up all the time, mm -hmm. especially with the pandemic. That was the hardest challenge for us. Yeah. I would say also with um, the growth. I mean, like I said, we, we planned, we tend to be very conservative with, um, with our estimates of how the business is going to grow. Yes, what I was supposed to predict in five years, I did that in two years. Which is amazing. Which is. I started out with two hairstylists and now I've got 12 and I could use more room to hire more. Your business has contributed a lot to the local community. You're very involved in the Athens community. Can you talk a little bit about what this means to you? Give it back to the community is everything. When they help you succeed, you want to help them succeed. Our biggest um, community event of the year is our uh, back to school haircuts for children. We have them come in. Um, we do free haircuts from K through 12. Um, we do, we have food, we have raffles, we have games. We make it such a big event and yeah. it's getting bigger and bigger every year. We you always have, have a great turnout. We do. This salon is clear full of people. Uh, we done, I think, close to 200 um, free haircuts for children. Wow. Um, which each year gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. So Barb, the business has been very successful. Can you talk about what you attribute to that success? Well, with you, Erin, helping out, it really made it so much easier and it made um, my vision even more. When, when we came to you to help with our business plan, I thought it was gonna be a quick fix. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't a quick right. fix. It did take about three months, Yeah. but it opened my eyes exactly what I need to see and with your help, um, it, it really worked out. It was the best. I mean, I couldn't have done it without you guys.